sunshine at the Nürburgring. It's a rarity this weekend, but we do have sunshine. We're ready to go racing for McLaren Trophy Europe. Race one on the Nürburgring, not a very long hold at all, and a good reaction from our pole man. Gonzalo de Andres claims the inside line. Mohamed Al Khalifa loses that second position to Thomas Sergeant. Does look a bit creasy through there, especially on the newer tarmac on the inside. Everyone being very, very careful not to have too much contact, and I think they all got through there cleanly. And you can see the amount of water on the on the track, on the surface, from the reflection from the uh, the lights of these cars. Itself on the outside, that's a huge dive down the inside. Oh, and a lose as well from the 77. So Hopton spins around. Al Khalifa had almost dive bombed to the inside, and I think he might make have made that one work into uh, second position. But shows how tricky it is that downhill braking into turn one into heavy braking zone. And uh, if you just find yourself on a slightly crazier part of the circuit, then it's easy to lose the rear end. Oh, here's a move down the inside. A recovering Hopton. Remember, we're not using the slow chicane here at the Nürburgring like you might see in Formula One. So it's not much of a braking zone into that chicane, but he has the inside line through the final turn and claims the apex to get ahead. The Andres leads in the number seven machine, comes over the line now. Here's Thomas Surgeon in third position, again, staring the tail of Mohammed uh, Al Khalifa. Six seconds now behind the Andres, who continues to lead. Well, there's a much better drive from Sargent out of that complex, but he needs to be on the left-hand side of Mohammed. He's all over the road. But again, yes, and of course, with them battling up, you can see fourth place now, Mark Hopton really catching up on that battle. This will be a very interesting uh, three-way battle. Very good run from Sargent there, potentially on the outside now. Oh, but he's got to go around the outside of the first part to have the inside to the second part of this particular section of turns. This is where he could go down the inside. Oh, Khalifa's opened the door for him. May well get a better drive, but it's open and it's through. The leader in the 570S class, which is Bobby Trundley, uh, who has also been pressured, but a different type of pressure because ultimately uh, he should be being passed by the Artur Arturas and he should know that that's okay because uh, his gap to the next best of the 570S class cars is absolutely mammoth. Uh, I think over 20 seconds. Looks like they will have a coming together, no? Not yet. No. <laughs> so, so Henry's got ahead. Oh, blimey. Wow. As the pit window opens, we now see cars coming in. And Gonzalo and Pinto's car obviously leading the race, but they will have an, an additional seven seconds added to the pit time, which is obviously success penalty from Spa. The 15 car, don't expect the driver to get out of this one because this is the car that is only piloted by Danny Henry. And interestingly, this is the car that had that big contact uh, with David Foster. We thought they were going to retire, but he obviously got back going again. And it doesn't look like there's a scratch on it on that left side. Uh, Pintos will have to really be at his very best to try and keep their five second advantage. They, they probably will have. Let's see how it, you know, it all pans out after a lap or two, but uh, uh, just watch for the O'Brien car. Thomas Pintos leads, Michael O'Brien is second, Charlie Hollings third, Ewan Hankey fourth. That's how it works out with our pro drivers now, as Team Brit now come in, and Bobby Trundley brings that car. Great stint from Bobby Trundley. And Ewan Hankey down the inside, that's an unusual place to find a way through, especially pro to pro, but Hankey's got ahead of Charlie Hollings. Who is a leader? Spaniard Thomas Pintos for SMC Motorsport. The car has led from the very beginning. And now we wait for the battle for second. Be interesting to see with just eight and a half minutes remaining whether Michael O'Brien can close down Thomas Pintos. Come and have a look. Oh, there he is, there's Pintos. And uh, the gap down to 3.3. O'Brien, fastest lap of the race on that last lap. That is uh, two laps remaining of this race, 2.1 seconds. Uh, one second effectively taken out on that last lap. This is going to be really close between these two. It's taken half a second again in the first sector alone. It's a sh shy of a minute sector. A very sector. tense last few corners for Pintos. He needs to keep his cool. And uh, so far, okay, but... Uh, close on. enough. He has taken another half a second out of Pintos. Uh, in that first sector, where he's obviously a lot stronger, much more direct through the Schumacher S's at the top of the but hill. there isn't quite enough laps. How frustrating for O'Brien, but how elating for Thomas Pintos, who takes the victory in race one here at the Nürburgring for Gonzalo de Andres and Pintos. O'Brien in second, point four of a second by the end for Team Brit.
Aaron Morgan brings the McLaren around the final turn and takes victory in the 570S class. They're going to enjoy their uh, celebrations. They reset tomorrow. They have the a celebrations on the podium here at the Nurburgring. We'll continue late into the evening. Thank you.